Wondering how much AI has evolved in just one month? Let's blow your mind with the latest updates from June 2024. Claude 3.5 is smashing records. GPT-5 is here. OpenAI is talking nuclear energy for AI. DeepMind just dropped V2A, and that's just the beginning. Let's get right into it. If you're a UI UX developer, you'll be excited about Figma's new AI tools. The new features are game changers. First, you can now generate user interfaces, UIs, just by typing in a prompt. Just imagine typing create a login screen, and just like that, Figma does it for you. It's like magic, but that's not all. The new visual asset search lets you find images and icons based on how they look, not just their names. With it, you can quickly find the perfect visual elements you need without scrolling through endless options. Figma's AI tools are making life much easier for developers and designers. If you haven't tried them yet, give them a go. They're pretty impressive. Next update, one of the biggest highlights was the release of Claude Sinet 3.5, an AI model that's shaking up the world of coding. Just when we thought AI advancements might be slowing down, Claude Sinet 3.5 came along and proved us wrong. This new model is now considered the best for writing code. It outperforms previous models like GPT 4.0, both in benchmark tests and in real-world use. One of the coolest features of Claude Sinet 3.5 is something called Artifacts. This feature saves your code snippets individually, making it easy to piece them all together into a complete application. It's like having a super-organized digital notebook for all your coding bits and pieces. Not to be left behind, OpenAI also introduced a new model a few days later called Critic GPT. Unlike most AI models, Critic GPT is specifically designed to find errors in the code written by GPT-4. It's a powerful tool that helps improve the accuracy and reliability of AI-generated code. These advancements show just how amazing Transformer models have become. The demand for such AI tools has been so high that it even made NVIDIA the most valuable company in the world for a brief period in June. NVIDIA's graphics processing units, GPUs, are important for running these advanced AI models, highlighting the increasing importance of powerful hardware in the AI industry. In June, one of the standout innovations was a new chip from a startup called Etched. This chip uses a technology called Transformer Architecture, which is important for many AI models. By putting this architecture directly onto silicon, Etched has dramatically increased the speed at which these models can work. This is a big deal for anyone using AI applications that rely on transformer models. But there's a catch. If a new and better architecture comes along, Etched might be in trouble. For now, in 2024, their approach looks like a genius move. Even if you're tired of hearing about AI, the reality is that it's becoming more integrated into our everyday tech. Companies like Apple and Microsoft are leading the charge. Apple Intelligence is making waves, and Microsoft's Copilot Plus PC is enhancing user experiences on both laptops and phones, especially those with ARM chips. This means more powerful AI tools at your fingertips, no matter what device you're using. Intel is also making significant strides in the chip market with its new Lunar L chip. Unlike traditional x86 chips, the Lunar L is designed to be much more power efficient. This is great news for laptop users who have often struggled with overheating issues. Now with this chip, you can expect your laptop to run smoother and cooler, making it more reliable for everyday tasks and heavy-duty applications alike. Let's not forget that OE of the big updates comes from Meta. They've introduced a new AI model called the LLM Compiler Model. This new model is based on an existing model called LLAMA, but it's been trained on a massive amount of data, 546 billion pieces of code. To give you an idea, that's like feeding the AI a library full of programming books and asking it to learn from every single one. Now why is this a big deal? Well this model is so smart that it could potentially create its own programming languages. Think about it. Right now, programmers use languages like HTML, Python, and JavaScript to write code. But with this new AI, it might come up with entirely new ways to code that we haven't even thought of yet. To put it in perspective, let's look at some stats. In 2020, the global AI market was valued at around $62 billion. By 2025, it's expected to grow to nearly $200 billion. That's a huge leap, showing just how fast AI technology is advancing and becoming a part of our everyday lives. Meta's new model is a part of this rapid growth. It's a glimpse into the future where AI isn't just a tool we use, it's something that can innovate and create on its own. This could change the tech industry in big ways, from how we develop software to how we interact. With Technology Daily, there's another big update you might have missed. Kaspersky Antivirus has been banned in the United States. The reason? 
there are concerns about its potential ties to the Russian government, specifically President Putin. This means if you're using Kaspersky on your computer, you'll need to find another way to keep your system safe from viruses and malware. Don't worry though, there are plenty of other antivirus options out there that can protect your computer. There is also drama involving Cloudflare. Many websites use Cloudflare for their Content Delivery Network CDN, and protection against distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks. One of these websites, an online casino, has 4 million monthly active users and was paying $250 a month for Cloudflare's services. However, in June, this casino got a shocking email from Cloudflare. They were told they had to pay $120,000 up front for an enterprise plan, or Cloudflare would take all their domains down within the next 24 hours. This huge price hike raised eyebrows. Sure, online casinos come with extra risks, but the way Cloudflare's sales team handled it looked really bad. It came off as extortionate and left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. Adobe also had a rough month. They introduced new terms and conditions that caused quite a stir. According to these terms, any content you create using Adobe products like videos edited with Adobe Premiere technically becomes Adobe's property. Imagine working hard on a video only for Adobe to claim ownership. While they might not re-upload your video, they could use it to train their AI models. This situation felt eerily similar to a plot from the TV show Black Mirror. Many users thought about switching to DaVinci Resolve, a popular alternative. But here's the catch. Adobe makes it nearly impossible to cancel your subscription. This tricky practice didn't go unnoticed, and the US government sued Adobe in June for making it too hard for users to cancel their subscriptions. It didn't end there. Apple found itself in hot water in June. The European Union accused Apple of violating the new Digital Markets Act. This law aims to ensure fair competition in the digital market. Apple's alleged violation could cost them a whopping $30 billion. Yes, that's a billion with a B. These accusations are serious and highlight the increasing scrutiny tech giants face from governments worldwide. If the fine goes through, it will be a significant financial blow for Apple and a strong message to other tech companies about the importance of following regulations. There is also a bit of drama on YouTube. Tech Lead, a popular tech YouTuber, was accused of abusing the YouTube copyright system. This really hurt his reputation. From the beginning, his channel has gone from programming tutorials to hot takes on Flutter, to talking about cryptocurrency scams, and even personal stories like why my wife left me. Now, his content has a more pessimistic tone, often called black pill doomer content. Despite the hate he gets, many people don't realize that his channel is actually satire. He's playing a complex game, creating drama to get people talking about him because of it. Now, onto some nerdy drama from GitHub. A well-known open source contributor tried to add support for Node Digest 0.4, an old version hardly anyone uses anymore. This got over 200 downvotes and no upvotes at all. People began questioning his motives. Some thought he might be a Chinese spy trying to create a backdoor, while others speculated he was just doing it for money from Tidelift, a platform that pays open source contributors. The author denied these conspiracy theories, and he's actually contributed a lot to the JavaScript community over the years. It's hard to say what his true intentions were, but it's definitely entertaining to see JavaScript developers arguing. Speaking of JavaScript, the state of JS 2023 results are out. React is still the most popular JavaScript framework, with a lot of people still loving Svelte. Interestingly, Vue.js is one of the few well-established frameworks that's becoming even more loved over time. And a big thank you to everyone who voted Fireship as the number one JavaScript channel. OpenAI was also expected to drop their new Sora model, but then Quo, a company from China, surprised everyone with Kling. This AI is super impressive because it can make videos that are up to two minutes long and look just like real life in 1080p quality. Imagine that, videos that seem almost as good as if they were shot with a fancy camera. What makes Kling stand out is how it can take detailed descriptions and turn them into videos with people and animals that move and act just like they would in real life. It's like magic. Using just one photo, Kling can create characters that move realistically and express emotions. This makes the videos feel alive and believable. But here's the thing. While Kling is making waves, OpenAI is still working on their Sora model, which they plan to release later this year. They've got some catching up to do now that Kling has set such a high bar. Back in April, Quo released another AI called VDU AI, which could make short videos in really good quality. Kling is like the next level of that. It can handle longer videos and make them even better. On Kling's website, you can see examples of what it can do, like fish swimming underwater, P3 
people riding horses in deserts, and even a funny video of a cat driving a car through a busy city. The secret behind Kling's awesomeness is its fancy 3D technology that pays attention to how things move in space and time. This helps Kling make videos that look natural and smooth, just like the real world. It's not just about making pretty pictures, it's about making them look real and keeping them looking good throughout the whole video. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist, we've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.